Hey, welcome to Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'm Lee, and in this video, I'll be taking you through the KR Cases Tray Selector Online Tool to help you put together the best trays and cases to transport your army. Hopefully you've already seen the KR multi-case system review I did for the Astra Militarum army, where I showed you how you could easily store and transport up to 6,000 points with their system. And in that video, I just touched briefly on the tray selector tool that they have on their website at krcases.com. So in this video, I'm just gonna walk you through the process of choosing the different cases and trays you need for your army. And it's not just for the Imperial Guard, and even for Games Workshop, it applies to pretty much every game mon model and miniature company out there. So they've got you covered whatever game system you like to play. So let's get started and I'll walk you through exactly how the tray selector works. I'll quickly show you my Astra Militarum setup. So in the video I did before this one, you can see all the different trays and the foam inserts. And so here, you can see them all laid out. You've got the card case that they came in and then the trays that go inside. So this one, for example, tells you here that this would have two eight times heavy weapons teams here and here. And then IG-7 is the Bane Blade. So this is one of the ones that I featured in that video. So this is what it will look like on the tray selector tool. And then you can go down and see all six of the card cases I've got and the foam inserts that come with them. So this is the whole army. But let's go through it right from the beginning. So the first step is to choose your case and you can use this carousel here to choose a case from the full range. And if you don't choose a case, then the standard card case will be chosen for you by default. And that's this one here. So this is the one you would have seen in the video for the Astra Militarum. But you can get other cases like these thicker ones or taller ones. This one, for example, is twice as, as deep, so double the depth there. And then you've got all the different bags. So you've got lots of options there. If you go for just trays, you can do that and you don't have to put them in any of the cases. And this one here, the Kaiser II, is the one that was featured for the Astra Militarum. And that holds comfortably two of the KRM cases. So that's the first step. In step two, you refine your tray choices by selecting your army and you can use the manufacturer and systems filters to help navigate the options. So here you can see I've got games workshop selected, but if we go reset to show all manufacturers, you can see there's all different ones here. So you're going to be covered for all different types of games, no matter what you play. So it's got, for example, uh, Battlefront, Corvus Belly for Infinity, Night Models, Mantic. So all different types of games on there. I'll stick to Games Workshop. Then you can choose a game system. So once you've chosen the manufacturer, you'll have the game systems that relate to them. So in this example, we'll go with Warhammer 40,000. But as you can see, it's got Horus Heresy, Aeronautica, Imperialis, Blackstone Fortress, Lord of the Rings, everything. So let's go Warhammer 40,000. When you've chosen your game system, then you can choose your army. And so I'll go Astra Militarum so we can stick to the state of the same theme we went through in the previous video. But you can choose any of your factions and even chapters here. So, for example, Space Marines, you can even choose Blood Angels. And then there'll be trays that are specific to the models that come in that range. So we'll click on Astra Militarum. And that's step two complete. Now we move on to step three and you can see here I've got a lot of tabs for different factions, even different games like Kill Team. And so this is my bench that I've saved and I can have all these different boxes and tray setups ready for each of the different factions. And so I'll keep those open. But for this one, we're going to use an example just called YouTube example. So I just click on that and confirm I want to rename it to that, which I do. So that's done. So now you can see this is completely empty. So we now need to go into step three, where we add trays to our case using either the type in field here, if you know the codes, or you can put in the description. Now there's a good chance you don't know the, the code. So if we just click in this field here, uh, it's got the model description and we could type that in if we wanted to. So for example, we could put in Lehman Russ, and then that's going to give us all the different options that the Lehman Russ trays will have. So it gives you all the different ones you can choose to put your Lehman Russ in. If we delete that, 
And if we go in here instead, you can see you'd have to put the code in. But we can also go to add a tray from list. And if we just click on that, that's going to bring this drop down. And everything that's green means it will fit in your selected case. So you can see here, these are all the options for the Imperial Guard, and they'll all fit in the case that we've chosen, that standard case. So all you'd need to do then is click Add to Bench. So let's find the one that has the Valkyrie and the four Lehman Russes in. And this was also shown in that video I made prior to this one. So here we go. So we've got the Valkyrie, and then we can put the four Lehman Russes and 20 infantry in there. So all we do is click Add to Bench, let it do its job and then we go down to our bench here and you can see that we've got the card case in the standard size and now it's filled that case so we can't add anything else to that that's full now there's no spaces available and so we can move on and we can add perhaps another card case with extra trays in so let's add another tray from the list and i'll show you how that works so now let's go with 20 infantry and we'll add that to bench let it do its thing and it'll automatically bring in another card case. And so here we go. Here's the card case and then there's the tray. Now you can see there's lots of room left in this card case. And if there's an arrow button, like you can see here, sorry, a plus button, there's the arrow. If there's a plus button there, that means you can add the same tray again. So if I just click that, uh, that plus button, there you go. We've got another tray and we can keep going add in like that all the way and that's going to fill that case up if we just keep adding the plus button it also keeps a little handy count here of how many troops and how many vehicles you've got in your card case so i've still got room for two more you can see this orange section here means there's a bit of space whereas if we go back up there's only the green background so let's add two more until this fills up and you'll notice that the plus symbol will go away. So now we can't add any more, this case is full. It works out the case price for you, and then finally tells you exactly how much you've got in troops and vehicles for the trays you've selected. There are some other icons on the tray, for example, this I icon, and if you click that, it tells you exactly what that foam tray is and gives you a picture. So here it says this is 20 infantry, and you can put Color Sergeant Care and all the different models in that section. Click the X and we'll get rid of that one. Then we've got this right hand pane here and this will display the trays that are in your case and the models that are carried in each tray as well. So you can see we've got eight times the N4H and again there's the, the, the description of that, case, that tray and it tells us exactly what we can put in it. You've also got a colour wheel and if you click on that you can change the colour of that tray. Or if you go down here, you can choose the color for all the trays. So if you just wanted one of those to be green, you click the green and that'll do it, no problem. But if you want them all to be green, you could just click down here and that'll change all the trays in that case to green. If you want to save the case, you can click this arrow button here and then that'll add that case to your save tray stack. And then you can keep it there and refer to it every time you log in. So that's really handy. Once you found a tray you like and you know you're going to use again, maybe for different armies, you can save it in your tray stack. In this example, I've just put one tray in there. And if you've got space, then you've got an option to use finish fill in my case for me. And what that will do is it'll do the work for you and fill the case with trays that are appropriate to your army. So let's click finish fill in my case for me and see what it comes up with. So let it do its thing. And then it's going to start putting different trays in there that it thinks will relate to the models you might have or the most popular ones in the army. So here it's given us some pick and pluck trays. So we've got lots of options about what models we can put in there. So that's filled it up for you. So that's another thing you can do. But I think it's better once you know what vehicles and what troops you've got to choose your own trays. And then you've got it exactly how you want it with the trays that are designed specifically for those models. Now, once you're happy that you've got all the cases and trays you need, you can either just add one of the cases to your basket or you can scroll up and add all products on this bench to the basket. And that'll include both of these. So you've got the options there of just having one or putting them all in there. You can also keep all these tabs with different names there so you can keep them for later. Maybe you've got a wish list for your birthday or Christmas, something like that. So you can label it like that and then you can remember that to pass on to people you think might buy it for you. Or maybe you're going to use your like Christmas money or whatever to come back 
and pick that up. So that's a really neat feature as well. And there's one other thing you can do here, which is change the case type. So you might want to change that card case to something else. So if you click on this, it's going to tell you again in green what sort of case you can use for this. So there's all the different options and let's click change case on this one. And so now we've got a standard aluminium case and we know those trays are going to fit in it. So that's really handy as well. There we go, that covers how the tray selector tool works. And so really nice and easy, you can choose your bag here or just the tray, uh, the tray selector tray set. So you can have just trays and then you can go through your manufacturer, the actual game and even faction. And then you can either choose to type in the model description or the codes, add trays from the list. You can even add a tray set from the list or add a pre-filled case from the list. So if you've got a specific game in mind, like for example, they've got a Horus Heresy Age of Darkness um, bag and case and tray list, and you can choose that too. So it's all done for you. And if you don't want to go through any of this at all, then you can simply send your army list to KR Cases and they'll put together the best package for you. And that's exactly what they did for me with my Astra Militarum army. I sent them a list of every unit I've got and they put together the best trays for the job so a really great service that doesn't cost anything at all and so you can do that but i think it's fun to have a look and choose your own as well and it's a great tool online to be able to do that with you can also do this for the navara cases and so they're like sister companies. So you've got KR cases and Navara cases. And I've done a review video of both of these so you can see them in action. They're both slightly different. The KR cases come with the softer foam and they've got these card boxes that really keep everything well protected. And then they go in the bags. And Navara have got a bit of a firmer foam. And so you don't have to have the boxes. So it's another option and a little bit cheaper if you wanted to go down that route. Personally, I really like the KR cases. I think they're fantastic. And having these boxes means you can store all your units from your army in the boxes and then just choose the ones you want to take to your game night or your meetup. And so you just select the boxes, pop them in the bag and you're good to go because you're not going to always want to bring all of your models to every meetup. So I think that's a really nice system and I, I love it. I think it's fantastic. And also the team at KR Cases are really friendly, really helpful and always happy to help you with your lists. Now I've just gone to one of their product pages just to show you another cool thing you can do with this. So for example, here you've got the Horus Heresy Age of Darkness set A, B and C, and you're able to edit this in your tray selector. So once you're logged in, you can choose a product you like and then edit the trays as well. And you can do that from any product page that you're on. So that's really handy because you can just select it, edit in the tray selector, and then you're good to customize it to exactly how you want it. Over the next few weeks, I'll be producing some more videos to show you how these trays will work with Kill Team, with the Necrons and with other factions as well, including the Space Marines. So look out for those videos coming really soon. And don't forget to check out the previous videos I've done for the Astra Militarum and a comparison between the KR cases and Navara cases. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope it's been helpful to show you exactly how this works. And you can actually see on their web page here, KR News, they've got another review by Tabletop Skirmish Games. That's me of the cases to share with you. And you can also go and have a look at both ranges from their homepage, Navara, KR Cases and the Tray Selector. So really easy to access all of these. So yep, hope it's been helpful and I'd love to know what you think about KR Cases. Let me know in the comments section below. I'll put links to their products in the description of this video and I'd love it if you went and checked them out and showed them your support. UK company and really great team there helping you to get the best cases to transport your armies in. So thanks so much for watching. Please hit the like button if you liked the video. Subscribe for more videos like this and don't forget to hit the notification bell to join me next time on Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'd like to say a huge thank you to my Patreon supporters who make these daily videos possible and if you're interested in joining the community it'd be awesome to see you there and I'll put a link for that in the description down below.